Before we start, hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Nature is Phenomenal. Here are 10 things you didn't know about dolphins. Dolphins are carnivores. Their cuteness and kind appearance have captured the marvel of people, particularly little girls in movies such as Dolphin Tale and Barbie spin-offs. Dolphins, however, are actually in the same ranks of some of nature's most vicious creatures, such as snakes and lions, because they are carnivores, meaning that they will exclusively eat meat, mostly fish. Dolphins are predators, too. In addition to fish, some dolphins also eat cephalopods and crustaceans, not to mention crab. Some of their favorite fishy snacks include cod, mackerel, sawfish, and herring. It's funny to think that, while humans generally see dolphins as majestic, harmless animals, to fish, dolphins are scary predators. Adult dolphins eat 22 to 50 pounds of fish a day, depending on how large they are. Dolphins are considered mythical creatures. These large sea animals caught the attention of Greek and Roman mythologists around 800 BC to 500 BC. Some historians and theorists today believe that dolphins are partially responsible for the myths about mermaids and hydras. In addition to natural phenomena such as giant swarms of fish, storms, and whirlpools, dolphins were mistaken for mythical creatures that are now just pure imagination. Still, you can empathize with these ancient sightings when you consider the resemblance between a dolphin's sweeping tail and a mermaid's fin. Dolphins are often confused with sharks. Both dolphins and sharks, very different sea creatures, have a similar looking dorsal fin, so much so that they can be confused as the other at first glance, which can be a dangerous mistake to make when swimming in the ocean. The dorsal fin, is the fin on the back of the animal, which often sticks out of the water when either species is swimming. Here's how you tell them apart. Sharks have a straighter edge to their fin, leading to a more triangular shape, while dolphins have a more curved fin that look more like a boomerang. Dolphins speak with their blowholes. Dolphins are said to have an extremely large vocalization range, with a vocabulary that's made up of squeaks, clicks, whistles, and squeals. You can often hear it when you visit the aquarium. What most people don't know, however, is that the sounds do not come from the dolphin's mouth like a human's voice does, but from the blowhole on the top of their head. They make sounds by releasing air through the hole. They can also create and mimic new sounds that they hear, especially in captivity. How cool is that? Dolphins are smart. Dolphins are said to be some of the most intelligent animals within the animal kingdom, particularly in the ocean. Many marine biologists claim that dolphin can grasp skills and concepts quickly and with depth. Some scientists say that they may even be self-aware, having and displaying a range of emotions such as grief and playfulness. It has been found that some dolphins even have a name for each other, and argue that they possess an almost alien intelligence that is difficult for humans to understand or comprehend. I have more below. That means this super Dolphins confuse in order to eat. An example of the intelligence of dolphins can be seen in their habits, even in the wild. Dolphins have been observed to use smart techniques such as mud ring feeding to confuse their primary prey fish. What the dolphins do is make a circle of mud around the fish they want to catch by disturbing pluff mud and making it float in the water. The commotion this brings blinds and confuses the fish, making them more vulnerable. This can be compared in a way to the behavior of squids, who confuse prey and predators by squirting ink into the water. Dolphins have echolocation. Many people are aware of the echolocation of dolphins, or the ability to locate objects by using reflected sound waves. Yet humans still know relatively little about this power. Even scientists struggle to find out the inner workings of this super ability. However, what you probably didn't know is what dolphins use echolocation for. Some echolocation uses are to avoid predators and catch prey as one would expect. 
They also use it to generally see better in the water, avoiding obstacles. Interestingly enough, dolphins can determine many things from their built-in sonar, such as shape, speed, size, and direction of travel. Some scientists even think that they can get basic understanding of the internal structure of creatures and objects in the murky water around them from their echolocation. Dolphins are food? Although it may seem unusual to some people, many groups, particularly people indigenous to tropical islands, eat dolphin meat. It is important to remember that, while it may seem strange to people who are not part of these cultures, the people of these tropical islands use responsible, safe, and humane methods of not only eating, but also respecting dolphins and other sea creatures, like eating the entire animal so as not to waste anything. It is important to think about how our own customs can seem strange to people who do not observe them. For instance, in Hindu religion, cows are sacred and not to be eaten, while in America, we eat them all the time. Not to mention how cows are treated in the process of becoming food. It is important to gain perspective and realize that, for the most part, the importance isn't about how cute or prized the animal is, but how humanely it is treated and cared for and that we might have different views on what animals are okay to eat and which aren't. In fact, some people think that we shouldn't eat any animals. Dolphins and ocean animals need protection. Dolphins are vulnerable to pollution caused by humans. Like all sea creatures, putting plastic in our oceans greatly damages the ocean ecosystem. Don't forget that you can help save the ocean by reducing your plastic use and participating in beach, ocean, river, and lake cleanups near you. If you want to go further, consider donating to organizations such as Oceana and Greenpeace. This brings us to the end of the video. Hit like if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. With that, see you in the next video.